I have a confession to make when it comes to posing. While, yes, I do try to get ideas for poses, and there might be things that I start off with. Uh, as any of the models from the photo session in New York City know, I like to talk to the models. I like to get them laughing. I, I like to get genuine expressions from them. Now, that's not to say that a model might not be able to do that as they're posing. But I don't shoot models all the time. And I want genuine expression. I don't want to capture some fixed shape of their face. If I'm going to take a picture of you, I want to capture you. And some people aren't models. Well, most of us aren't models. And in order for me to get past that reluctance or that trepidation at being in front of the camera, I've got to mix things up. So I'm literally a chaos agent when it comes to posing because I want the person on the other side of my lens to be comfortable and to be real. I don't think I can capture an image of a person to represent them just by moving their body in a particular way. Now, I know you're going to see other photographers out there. You're going to see videos all over YouTube, for example, that show poses and show the person getting the model into that pose. And then that's it. They take the pictures and they move the model to the next pose. There will be some conversation up front some icebreaking, if you will, that will occur at the beginning of the session. And of course, conversation during the posing. But I like to go beyond that for the reason that if we're doing something that we are not comfortable doing, then even if you have an icebreaker up front and you have gotten a little more comfortable with what's going on at that point, that doesn't mean that that anxiety isn't going to come back later on during the session. In addition, I don't want you to feel as if you're a human doll that I'm posing for a particular thing. I want you to be you. I'm not taking these photographs for myself. I'm taking them for a reason. Now, this week on my YouTube channel, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more, but I'm also going to show examples of what I mean. Now, those will, for the most part, be from events that were going on. People doing things that they enjoy doing. So, for the most part, there wasn't as much of me necessary to make them comfortable. My goal, taking those pictures at an event, is to be unseen. I want the person to be, somebody took a picture of me? Yes. I want you to not know I'm there. I want you, while I'm taking these photos at events, to just 
be yourself and enjoy the event and not think about the person with the camera taking your picture. Now, I know at events, you even see people posing, um, especially reenactors. I want life. So I guess that puts me more into documentation type category of photography. I want to capture you. I don't want to capture an image of what I think you should look like. Doesn't mean I may not think of poses that will make you look your best. Or poses that we worked out in advance so you know what to expect. But at the same time, I want to make sure that I'm capturing the real you. And that's where I I guess I come more into a documenting you as opposed to just posing you and taking pretty pictures. I want to capture you. I want the images to be you. I want anybody who knows you to look at that image and say, oh, this is so you. That's what I want to capture. That's what I want to make a print of. That's what I want to put in an album. It may not be you five or ten years from now, but right now, that's you. And that is important for me to capture. That is the person that I want to put in that print to put on that photograph to make sure that the person you are right now is captured and celebrated. So yes, I may do some posing, but I have to confess, I am a serious chaos agent I will make you laugh. I will make sure that your photographic experience is just that, an experience that you will enjoy. And I guess as an added bonus to the photographs, that you'll have a time in your life that you can look back on with those photographs, know that's you, and remember the time and the fun that you had while you were having your picture taken. That's my goal. And that's my confession this week. I'll talk to you guys all next week. And if you're interested, swing by the YouTube channel, LD Photography, and check out the video that's coming out this week on some examples of what I mean when I say I capture people doing what they enjoy doing. And that's all for this week.